More than 170 people have now been affected by an outbreak of the winter vomiting bug, norovirus, which has hit hospitals in Northumberland and North Tyneside. Visitors are still being told to stay away from wards at nine hospitals in the Northumbria NHS Trust area. They include the Northumbria Specialist Emergency Care Hospital near Cramlington through to smaller cottage hospitals in rural Northumberland. Not all on the list have experienced an outbreak, but the Trust has taken the unprecedented step of restricting visitors in order to contain the virus. Well, for the latest, let's join Helen Ford, who's outside North Tyneside General Hospital in North Shields. Helen, what's the situation there? Well, this hospital is currently worst affected by the norovirus outbreak and the only one where a ward is still closed as a result. That ward is number 24, which cares for older people. At other sites with an outbreak, staff are trying to contain it by isolating patients in individual rooms. Now, as things stand, there are currently 22 patients and 15 members of staff with norovirus. That's here and across other sites as well. And with that in mind, I asked the Health Trust why it was that the visitor restrictions had to be in place across such a wide area. We're very, very reliant on beds. So the more beds we have affected, uh, the more problems that causes us with our emergency care flow. Um, and the problem is, is that these, this outbreak arose from the community and we've been getting messages that there's been more and more norovirus out in the community. So we're very, very keen to stop it coming into our sites. I think as everyone's aware now, it first started by, by being brought in from the outside. It didn't come in through the front doors, as it were. Um, so that's why. And it is the scale of this outbreak which has prompted these unprecedented measures. But norovirus is a feature of every winter. It's something the NHS has to deal with annually. And that's why people right across the northeast are being urged to think very carefully before they visit people in hospital across the Christmas season. They're being asked to think whether they want to put any more pressure at what is a very busy time. Once we have it in the hospital, the problem at a ward level is that patients have to be isolated, we have to prevent visiting, and we can't discharge patients from the hospital as easily because then they run the risk of transferring that infection into the community, and especially for older people, the risk of transferring that back to a nursing or residential care home. And then, of course, the final straw is for the staff. The staff are exposed to something which is highly, highly infectious, and we have increasing staff absence over a period where there are additional pressures on the staff as well, obviously. Helen, back to the situation in Northumberland and North Tyneside. Not a great time of year not to be having visitors, is it? How long are the restrictions likely to remain in place? Well, that is a question that is as yet unanswered, but health officials will be meeting tomorrow to review the visitor restrictions. They say that people have been cooperating extremely well with the restrictions, and they say that as long as they are adhered to well at the moment, that means that they're likely to be lifted sooner rather than later. OK, Helen, thank you very much indeed.